like the Logic Industries. Uh, I got a little personal project here today. This is a uh, key mod hand guard off of an AR-15 uh, free float tube, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's cheap, it's light, I don't even remember where I bought it from. But whoever laid out the key mod keys on here did a, in a poor manner. So I need another mount point right here, or I want a mount point out here, but I got a blank spot. And uh, so I can't, uh, can't mount what I need to. So I'm going to make me another key mod slot here. It's not going to be perfectly key mod uh, spec because I'm not going to, I don't have a 100 degree countersink to back chamfer with through the hole. So, but I've measured the radius here and it's so close to the right chamfer anyway, I'm just going to go with it. It's close enough, I'm pretty sure it'll work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I've centered up over, you can see I've centered up over the center hole here on this uh, original or uh, an existing uh, key mod slot. And uh, now we're going to displace and uh, go ahead and make our. We're going to do the three uh, three eighths inch through holes first. There's going to be two, one here, and then one just barely nick the end. And then uh, we'll do the key slots after that. Uh, I'm going to pull you in here real close to so you can see what's going on instead of looking at you know the side of my face because nobody cares. Be right back. So one of the really nice things about uh, the key mod system, of course, I think probably M lock is the same way, but. Uh, Key mod is an open source kind of deal, so you can go to uh, several places on the internet and download the official specifications for hole spacing and the shape and size, etc. So I know from the print that I downloaded that we're uh, 0.788 between the big holes. So I'm just going to trundle on down the road here until I get to 788, until I get back to zero. <laughs> I originally set up over this hole, and then I moved forward 788 and zero the digital readout. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. So, of course, zero point is going to be 788 down the road. I find it back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make us a through hole here. Alright, there's that one. Now we're going to go another 788. There's our next step. This one just barely going to catch the edge. All right, now we're through. Now I'm going to back up here and we'll change tools. And we'll make the key slot part of the slot. Okay, so I got my tool changed now. Uh, the slot width is uh, 234, which is uh, 15 64 And uh, I, I happen to have a few end mills that size because they're regrinds that I bought that just happened to be what they finished at. So anyway, I got lucky. I would rather have like a two flute for this since it's aluminum and we're slotting, but all I got is a four flute, so we're just going to roll with it. Uh, it's the right size. We're going to get her down in the hole ways here so we're not sticking too far out. And uh, got uh, 0.394 inches to the end of the slot, so I'm just going to spin it up and uh, we might put a little liquid glove on there just cuz and uh, we'll go ahead and cut this uh, slot
BCM, a Bravo company machine, key mod, sling attachment point. I uh, feared that uh, we didn't have enough room there for that little outfit. So, I guess we didn't have the countersink. What's your problem? wider slot. No problem. It's always, no, you can always take that away. It's hard to put it back. It'll just come back over here. Ah. Alright, so it was a little tight first time through. So I went ahead back and uh, widened the slot out to three thousandths in either direction. And now we're going to well, if it's all right that way, we get this screw to go through here, and we'll be in good shape. sling point now. So this project is done, except for, you know, all the... All right, guys, that's it. Pretty quick project here. Uh, happened just about real time. So this is done. I got me a sling point now, like I like. And I can clean my mess up and whatever. If you guys like what you see here, or you like the other stuff, better than this kind of stuff, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, send me an email. Give me a subscribe. Do something so I can tell what you guys like and what you don't like. So, anyway, thanks for watching.